GMA has become the trusted global leader in industrial garnet. With a 35-year track record of supplying high-performing abrasives, drawing on this experience, we will show you how optimizing blast performance can be as easy as ABC. In our previous series, we showed how selecting the right garnet abrasive and having the blasting equipment can affect the overall efficiency of your blast operation. In this final video, we demonstrate how blasting technique can achieve optimal performance. Part C, correct technique. The blaster needs to have a proper standoff distance, angle, and consistent blast motion. A standoff distance of approximately 18 inches, depending on the nozzle type and application, is appropriate. Standoff distance varies by circumstance and other blasting parameters. The nozzle should be angled between 55 degrees and 70 degrees to the substrate surface. Apply long, straight, uniform strokes for consistent blasting. Allow proper overlap in blasting per application. Check the blasted surface using a Testix tape with a spring micrometer or an approved digital device to check if the blasted surface conforms to job specifications. In this final video of our three-part series, we demonstrated how having the correct technique can help achieve optimal blast performance, ensure proper standoff distance, optimize nozzle angle, and have a consistent blast motion. Optimizing blast performance can be as easy as ABC. Selecting the right garnet abrasive, blast equipment, and ensuring the correct blast technique will help you perform an efficient and effective blast operation. GMA, more than just garnet.